Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Shauna and this is a fashion channel. Fashion you can wear into the office, fashion you can wear on the weekends, hauls, get ready with me, how to's, little splash of home decor, little splash of self care. But for right now, we are riding on the fashion train. And today, we're gonna talk about blazers. So I recently did a video about white blazers and once spring comes, it's time to invest in a white blazer. If you haven't checked that video out already, I will link it in the description box below. But today, we're gonna to talk about where to buy the best blazers. Yes, I put up a video on Instagram, a reel showing, it must have been about 10 blazers that I own. And that prompted this video, where to buy the best blazers, because honestly, I have not paid full price for none of them, none of them. If you know me, you know that I do not like to pay full price for anything. Shopping to me is like a game of chess and if you pay full price at a store, you lost. That's, that's really just it. If you are paying full price in a store for an item with no deal, discount, kickback, anything, except Zara. I feel like Zara is the only place where it, the price is the price. Either you wait for it to go on sale or that's it. But everywhere else, coupon queen, discount queen, search Google, Ebates, rebates, whatever I can do to get some sort of discount, even if it's putting it on a card that is gonna give me cash back. Something, something. First up, thrift stores. Don't sleep on them. Do not sleep on them. Thrift stores. I would say that is the number one place to get blazers at a really, really low price. Um, I am going to list a couple of thrift stores that I frequent in New York City. I don't believe I have a thrifted blazer on the rack. So I don't think I'm gonna have anything to show you, but do not sleep on the thrift stores. Period. Um, and you gotta go in person. I'm in the process of finding a few online thrifting places that are really, really good. Um, I'm gonna work on a video specifically dedicated to thrifting, but head to the thrift stores. People donate all the time. People donate all the time, especially when the season is changing. So right now, people are cleaning out their closets and they are taking that stuff to the thrift store and dropping it off. And you need to be right in there, picking it up, taking it to the dry cleaners, and then bringing it right back on home into your closet. Thrift stores. I have got high-end items from thrift stores at amazing prices. Amazing prices. Like, I got a Burberry trench coat for $200 with a liner at a thrift store. Okay, okay. Number two. The men's section. The men's section. And you can go in the men's section in any one of these places that I'm gonna list, list you today. The men's section. Thrift stores, men's section. Any place you go to, head to the men's section. I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, the oversized blazers are in. They're in. So we're paying extra as women in the women's section to buy a blazer that's have been out all along in the men's section. Oversized and shoulder pads. Men blazers have had these forever. We're just now getting on the shoulder pad bandwagon and the boxy bandwagon and the oversized blazer bandwagon. But men have been doing that all the time. This is, this is a men's blazer. So instead of paying $250 for an oversized shoulder pad blazer in the woman's section, head on over to the men's section and pay 80. I'm telling you, if you want, you can just throw a belt on with it. That's what everybody is doing right now. They're just taking the blazer. It's a little bit big, throwing on a big belt. Boom. Where do you get that from? Men's section. We're still doing this. Shocked that women are shopping in the men's Even section. Even for the pants. Even for the pants. People are going to thrift stores, buying men's pants, and getting them tailored. 
boom boom so any place that i list here in addition to the women's section just head right on over to the men's section go in a store try on men blazers to see like which size fits you right and then that's it that's all you need to know in order to go online buy come on now come on now in addition to thrift stores do not forget about ebay and poshmark now i hate poshmark honestly i i can't stand that site and i'm gonna tell you why i'm tired of the negotiating on poshmark like i had some things up there and i was just i just took everything that i was so done and there may be some things that are up there i i don't bother with the app nothing the way that people want to finagle you the price is the price please like i don't understand that ebay either you bid and call it a day but poshmark they're liking well i don't need you to like either you're going to buy the jacket or you're not that's it i don't need you to like it i don't need you, the measurements they all oh, measure it arm to arm measure it this measure it that i need more pictures i need more, it's it's so crazy now i understand if you are trying to authenticate something because if it's less than 500 i think on poshmark they don't automatically authenticate it so you may want more pictures in order to like authenticate an item if it's like a, a luxury item but other than that like i had like coats i was asking for 40 dollars for the coat oh 20 will you take 20 no i won't it's 40 dollars and that's it it was horrible horrible part the tory birch party this party that party like I, like just buy the stuff and call it a day o only notifications i want is sold and paid and ready to ship that's it i don't want anything else the comments to share oh follow for follow like People got 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 followers on Posh. It ain't selling nothing. I don't get it. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, rant over. Bring it down, bring it down. Nambio horenge kyo, nambio horenge kyo, nambio horenge kyo. Oh my god, I cracked myself up. You know who's putting stuff in the men's section? Women. That's who's doing it. Honey. You can't fit these blazers anymore. These suits don't fit you anymore. Let's put them on eBay. And make more room for my stuff in your closet. That's who's putting it on there. And they just want to get rid of it. They're not even thinking that women are buying these blazers. They're thinking that men are buying blazers. So they're pricing them lower. Trust me on this. Trust me on this. When you go to eBay, head to that men's section. Okay, um, number three and other stories and other stories do not sleep on and other stories if you have not shopped there definitely go check it out go online if you live in the new york area or wherever else there are stores i'm not sure but i live in new york area and there is a store in soho do not sleep on and other stories i have two blazers from and other stories one is this gingham or houndstooth gingham i think gingham is the one with the squares and then houndstooth are the ones with the arrows i think um I got this blazer from there. I paid $89 for this blazer. This is a thick, great quality blazer. It has shoulder pads. Oh my gosh, I love this blazer. You can throw this on with, I wore it with a polka dot dress and it was fine, polka dot dress. And I've worn it to work several times. You can throw this on with jeans. I love this blazer. Nice buttons, you guys know I'm into buttons. Nice button. And the quality is just amazing. Like this is a super thick weighted blazer. I don't think it's still available. So I'm not going to like try to sell it to you. I'm really just showing you the quality of the blazers that you can get from and other stories. This is one. This is a winter blazer. And then I got this. Which is a dress. But I'm wearing it as a blazer. Because I don't think I am the blazer dress person you know I, I i'm not bottom heavy so just throw that out there so i'm i don't like i feel like you really need a nice shape in order to wear these blazer dresses as a dress but i wear it as a blazer i wore it over a jumpsuit i wear it over wide leg pants in the summer i could wear this over like shorts like just imagine this with a nice pair of like white shorts denim jeans denim shorts Great 
quality. I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit so that way you can see the quality, but really good quality blazer. It comes with a belt. I'm not a fan of the belt, um, just because it's just pink on pink, but it comes with a belt. Really nice. Inside, oh, I think I got a spot on it, but really nice, really nice. So if you are bottom heavy, um, it's nothing wrong with that, honey, Coca-Cola. But if you are bottom heavy, do not hesitate to get these blazers and wear them as actual blazers. You don't have to wear them as dresses. Like, you could wear it as a dress and you could turn around and wear it as a blazer. So multi-use, multi-use. Um, so and of the stories gets its own category because I feel like that is the best place to buy blazers and they deserve their own category, honestly. Next up, discount stores we're talking outlets we're talking century 21 tj maxx the runway collection we're talking off sacks you guys know i love veronica beard sometimes they have sales on the website itself like always check the website and do your research i mean like have a few tabs open check your web check the website and see what the price is and then you go and check your other sites or whatever um, but this I got from Neiman Marcus. I think this was like one something. I got this in a size 10. I'm not, so my dress size is a size four. This blazer is a size 10. Go oversize, go oversize because you wanna be able to wear it as much as possible. So I don't really do a fitted blazer. I have one blazer that's like really fitted um, cause I really wanted it. And I regret buying it because it's like an extra small and it's tight. All I could really wear under it is like a bra, you know. But this here I got from um, Neiman Marcus. I love how it's like double pattern here, like different patterns. So you have here and then you have here. This is houndstooth, I think. Mini houndstooth. And then here you have the plaid. Don't get me the lion. Next, clearance and sale section. They are putting winter merchandise in the sales section right now. Go there and get it. Go there and get it. I'm telling you. Sales section, clearance section, Bergdorf, Neiman, Nordstrom, Saks, Bloomingdale's. Head to those sections in women and men's. Get you a blazer. The original price of this blazer, I don't even remember. I think it was like 600 something. Then it went to 417. Then it went to 278 and then I got another discount on this blazer outside of that. I did not pay 278 for a blazer. Nope, I wouldn't do it. Um, so this blazer is from Tibby. This was from a Neiman Marcus store closing, store closing. And this blazer is still on sale certain spots. You will not find it for what I paid for it. So in addition to the discount stores, Another place where you can go, sample sales. Sample sales. There is a page that I follow, 260 sample sale. Helmet Lang, honey. Helmet Lang. What's hard is a lot of the sample sales, you gotta get there on the first day to get like the larger size items. I got this in a zero, I mean, I, would I have loved it too? Yeah, probably. But the zero fits. I love it. It is very unique. The, the quality. I mean, come on now. Come on now. Beautiful. Beautiful blazer. Nice collar. Shoulder pads. And the detail in the back. I don't even remember what I paid for this. It's probably like $100. Um... This blazer, discount, discounted store. This is Alice and Olivia. This blazer was originally $440. The tag here says $215. I paid less. I, I did not pay what the tag says. This is a nice white blazer. Beautiful buttons here. The gold buttons. Ooh. Oh, gosh. It's glowing. The gold buttons. I love because I wear gold jewelry. I wear gold jewelry. And got little extra buttons here just in case. So I love this. I got this blazer also a size 10. Guess where this blazer is from? This I'm, I'm doing the video on this because this is the best one. 
Century 21. Century 21. I loved this blazer. I don't even know what I paid for it. I saw it and was like, come here, come here. Get in the bag. Get in the bag. I love it. I love it. And I'm not going to find it anywhere else. That's like the beauty of Century 21. When you go like digging, I mean six feet under digging, you will see some gems. Get them. You will make it work. When I first wore this blazer, people at work were calling me Michael Jackson, Captain Crunch. Like they had so many comments about this blazer. Then, Shauna, where's a good place to buy blazers? What's the status on that email? We ain't here to talk about fashion. Listen. So do not hesitate to go to these discount stores and get blazers. The thing with blazers is, it's not really a trend. You don't have to like have like a, a blazer that's new. You know what I mean? I, I feel like new bags, new shoes, like people are more into that, but blazers, honey, you got a white blazer, you got a white blazer, you got a pink blazer, you got a pink blazer. Like nobody's like, oh my God, is that the new blazer? Is that the new one? Who cares? Who cares? All they say is that blazer is cute. That's it. So that's all you really have to worry about when you're shopping for blazers. Cute, fit you, looks good over jeans, over wide leg pants, and over a dress. Boom. That's it. That needs to be your criteria. You no, know, I can't. I can't like not talk about Zara. You know I cannot talk about Zara. Zara People have so much to say about fast fashion, but Zara is just it when it comes to like I don't know who is in their little buy-in section or who's out there snooping, copying all the designer brands and turning around and making it into Zara, but Zara is doing it. Their prices are getting a little bit high, a little bit high, but Zara is doing it. Zara is a place that you can go and get a mint green, a cobalt blue, a pink, a black, an orange. Like you can go and get all those blazers out of Zara and call it a day. And then they always have the blazers that are like, you got that from Zara? Honey, Zara. Zara, you see this textured? You, do you see the texture on this? Do you see this? Look at that tag, honey. Zara! Zara, beautiful blazer. Beautiful, nice blue. Woo! Oh my gosh. Wow. I, I'm acting like I don't own it. I'm acting like I don't own it. And this is all over. Like, this is all over. I. I told you guys, every once in a while, Zara puts out some pieces where it's like, grab that, you won't regret it. You will not regret it. And this blazer was one of them. I, I bought the shorts. It was like, like, um, culottes, I think they're called, that went with them. I ended up donating them because it just looked too, too, I, I, it wasn't going right. It wasn't going right. But the blazer is hitting it. The blazer's hitting it. And you can wear this to work. You can wear this on the weekend. Come on, this is what I do. This is what I do. You can throw these over some ripped denim shorts, nice white tank top, or a blue dress to work. Like, <sighs> also from Zara, I recently purchased this blue. Bo Cobalt blue, I learned it. I was just saying royal blue before, but it's not a royal blue. It's like the Mets. Imagine. I don't know, are the Mets still in? Because I could just throw on a Mets hat, some nice ripped jeans. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this blazer is beautiful from Zara's. It's $89. I love this blazer. The buttons, guys, get into these buttons. Get into them. Get into them. These buttons scream money. Money. ASOS, ASOS. Now, I messed up and put this blazer in the washing machine because I got a stain on it. So it's not as crisp as I want it to be, but I'm just gonna take it to the cleaners and have them like take care of it. But I got this neon blazer from ASOS. I got it with matching shorts. <sighs> Listen, if when you're following the trends, so like neon was really in last year, 
and I'm sure that I'm gonna be able to get use out of this, but this is a summer blazer. I don't need to spend $150 on a summer blazer that I'm only gonna really wear in the summer. I'm not gonna wear this blazer in September, October, November, December, January, February, March, maybe end of April, but I'm really not gonna wear this blazer that much. So there's no reason for me to go crazy on it. Definitely check ASOS, Zara, like, to be honest, do not pay full price on a blazer. Do not pay full price on a blazer at all. At all. Number one, thrift stores. Number two, men's section anywhere. Men's section anywhere. Number three, and other stories. Number four, discount stores, outlets, TJ Maxx, Runway, Off Sack, Century 21, sample sales. Number five, clearance or the sales section and any high-end department store. I'm talking about your Neiman, I'm talking about your Saks, your Nordstrom's, your Bergdorf. Head to those sales sections and shop because right now they are dumping the winter stuff in those sections for us to get. And do not sleep on going to the store versus online. There are different prices I'm noticing, so do not hesitate with going online and going to the store. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, Simply Shauna, where you can get daily doses of your girl. And hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. I mean, I don't know why you're not, but hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And I will see you guys next video. Next video. Bye.